working with the basic car assets from the Unity standard assets package. We can create something like this uh, simple racing car lap time game where we basically start here and we go through this first checkpoint which will start a timer up the top here and uh, theoretically you're supposed to follow these uh, this um, track or this uh, sort of path that's been uh, mapped out on the terrain but technically you could just skip straight over here and go to the first checkpoint this is checkpoint number one and through checkpoint number two and then skip right back and when you touch the start bar again it will give you a best time at the top here so this is the best time and every and then everything is reset if you do another lap and get a better time than the initial first time that was set then that overwrites and gets crossed out and the new time gets put up here and every time you do a lap if your lap time is better than the previous it scraps it and puts the new time up there so I'll give you a quick demo this is how it actually looks time has started I'm just going to skip over this map a little bit time for the oops, the time restarted for the second lap but I did set a uh, the first lap time and if I did that next lap quicker it would have over overwritten that so this is what we're about to make uh, the steps will be these starting the timer with a trigger start getting the timer basics working using just some debug doc, dot log first then setting up this canvas so we can actually see it on the screen and then how do we stop the timer with the checkpoints so we'll implement the checkpoints and uh, make sure that there's some logic in that we can't just go through this first start box green one and then just do a u-turn and either reverse back into it because that would you know you could do that in two seconds and that the checkpoints make it so you need to go and go through those checkpoints in certain parts of the map first before you return to the to the start object to get your, your finish time and then how do we record a best time so to make it challenging you want to try and especially if you're playing by yourself how do you make it challenging to or record a best time to make it challenging for yourself to try and beat that time or if you're playing with someone else they can try and beat your time up there and then lastly I didn't demonstrate but how do we reset the position if we fall off the map or if we want to do a, some sort of trigger reset and the last thing I will do in this series is I'll just show you how to do some uh, fireworks part, you know instantiate some particle effects on the map uh, through the triggers so let's get started <laughs> 